hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well please make sure that you subscribe like and share it has been a minute and now i'm back on youtube i promise i'm gonna try and be consistent in today's video i'm gonna share with you guys how to download 1688 for those of you guys who don't know 1688 is one of the cheapest apps in china where you can find factories a lot of people nowadays try and find fast selling products and flip them for a higher profit and make a living out of it. And as you guys know, the world perceive Alibaba to be one of the cheapest apps worldwide. And I am here to tell you that 1688 is even cheaper. And the matter of the fact is most of our suppliers on Alibaba are not factories. What they do is they buy from 1688 factories and sell them on Alibaba. So if you are interested in cutting the middleman and making sure that you maximize your profit, 1688 is one of the apps that you want to explore. So on my previous video in the comment section, I've seen a few people saying that they don't know how to download the app, meaning that sometimes when they try to search for it on App Store or Play Store, they cannot find it. The truth is uh, 1688 is a Chinese app. It's a whole Chinese app. Um, it's programmed in Chinese, the language is in Chinese, you need a Chinese phone to register. And as you guys know, most of the Chinese app are blocked to a certain parts of the world. So for you to access the app, sometimes you need a virtual network, which is sometimes known as a VPN. Uh, you need to change the settings of your phone. Sometimes you also need to mess with the location. But what happens if you cannot even download the app? This video is entirely for that. I'm going to show you guys how to download 1688 and I'm going to do it step by step. I use my iPad to show you guys how to download. At first, I'm going to connect to my VPN. As you guys know, if you stay in China, the only way to access um, many apps is to use VPN. So this is my VPN. I have connected it. It's running. And then I'm going to go to my Play Store and show you guys. I actually tried to search it for it earlier. I barely use Play Store since I'm in China. I only use Baidu most of the time. So you see, if you search for 1688, these are the apps that are appearing in the screen. These are the apps that are appearing. And I just want to say none of these apps are actually 1688, which is so frustrating because sometimes you want to download it and it's not here. So I'm going to show you guys how to download it. First, you need to go to Baidu. First, you need to go to Baidu. And for those of you guys who don't know, Baidu is like a Chinese browser. It's equivalent to Google and... Yeah, guys, I prefer I prefer Baidu most of the time. So for you to go to Baidu, you're just going to go to Google or Chrome. And then you're going to say www.baidu.com. .baidu.com. And you're going to press enter. This is how the official apps looks like. And as I told you guys, Baidu is a browser. So as you scroll down, you see current affairs, you see advertisement, you see news, you see a lot of stuff. But it's in Chinese, so don't worry and don't be intimidated. So, so if you see everything in Chinese, don't be intimidated. Um, this is the search bar for Baidu. You're just going to click here and type on 1688 and then you can just go ahead and search. You can also type 1688 download or 168. You see, this is the app 1688 and then you press here. This blue thing here is the download, uh, is the download option. You see. Most of these Chinese apps are so strict. It's already asking me to share my location because my VPN is like a set to Hong Kong or America most of the time. So they might require a location, but just ignore it, just decline it. And then you want to continue and download the app. 
and for me i already have the app on the phone but that's just how you download the app guys so i'm gonna go ahead and access the app you see guys this is how it looks like this is the latest logo of 1688 i've seen some people using alibaba thinking that it's 1688 it's not so let's see guys let's browse 1688 so this is how it looks like most of the time when you open the app it's gonna pop up with an ad or something and most people are like this app is in chinese how am i gonna navigate around it it's so scary and i know i know me too when i first arrived in china if you want to translate it to english you have to use maybe a chrome browser i don't know if it's effective i've never tried it but i just want to show you guys how to navigate around it this is just a chinese app and the thing is like it's easy it's like because i've been in china for a long time and I've studied in China and I've studied Chinese. I know a few things, characters. I know how to read and identify characters. Just like any other app, when you log in, it's just going to show you random stuff until it tries and configure what are uh, the things that you're interested in and so forth and so on. So I'm just going to give you guys one tip. The best thing to do is to search using Chinese terms. For example, I'm going to try and search for towel warmer right here using English. And I want you guys to see what's going to come out. These are just most of the things. Are, these are just a few things which are not even related to. They are not related to towel warmer at all. So this is what I mean when I say you need to use our Chinese keywords. And the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, this app is programmed in Chinese and most of these factories and suppliers, they also upload in Chinese. They use Chinese keywords. They use our Chinese hashtag titles and description. So sometimes when you search in English, the app will try to automatically uh, translate what you're trying to say to Chinese and try to find uh, the best product for you but sometimes uh when you just translate uh english to chinese it really does not make sense when you do direct translation so what you want to do is uh copy your own keyword and put it on google translator and uh, copy the chinese term and then you need to paste it in here you need to paste it in here and I want you to see the difference. This is the same word. I use English and now I'm using Chinese. You can see that already I'm seeing a towel warmer. By the way, I'm searching for towel warmer because it's one of the few hot products that are getting into the market. And I feel like it has the potential to, to perform better if you're into drop shipping or flipping products. So this is how it looks like. And you can just go ahead and scroll and find an item that you're interested in. Um, why are these not aesthetically pleasing? Just look for the one you like. Okay, uh, let's look at this one. This one is even more aesthetically pleasing. And I just want to say, if you uh, swipe, you're going to see more... Uh, photo um option that you can see and right here this is the price and right beside the price this is like what we call the moq this is the minimum uh, amount or quantity of this product that you can buy this is 400 and you can see here that they mentioned uh they tried to mention your logo even if they return you logo it's your logo this means that if you want to sell this product as your brand and print your own logo into the product they can arrange for that but for you to do that you need to have bought 400 pieces at once you need to purchase 400 pieces at once right and if you come here down it's someone who is just like trying to flip and sell them as plain as they are the minimum amount that you have to buy is a hundred pieces so sometimes for me when i'm just bored and i just want to buy this for my own house and i don't have enough money to buy 100 pieces i can just start a conversation with the supplier this is where you start the conversation with the supplier i can just come in here and send him this product i buy one okay my 
my ikaba can i buy one and they can tell me if they can allow me or not but sometimes if i really want the product i can just go ahead and tell them that i'm interested in starting my own brand but i need to inspect the quality first can they allow me to buy one so that's how i do it most of the time and um another tip that i want to give you guys um i mentioned that this year is where you start or initiate the conversation right so once you're talking with them you can also ask them to give them uh to give you their number and then you can use oh my god and then you can use this number to later contact them and try to build even more relationship with them this year is a logo this here is a button where you can use to enter the shop so once you enter the shop you and you scroll down you can see even more items that they sell in here and you can see their best selling products sometimes you can just take inspiration from their best selling products and see if you can try to drop ship them and make money and if you go down here this is the place where you chat with uh the, the supplier you can see here there's an option of a number you can just go ahead and click on it and i just want to say you can take this number and try to call them but that won't be your best bet because most of the time they do not speak uh english so the best option is to text them an sms or try to add them on whatsapp or wechat and tell them what are the products that you are interested in and another thing that i also want to talk about is the reviews uh this product does not have reviews um reviews are the things that are uh, review is one thing that's going to make sure that that's going to determine that you find the best suppliers so here you can see these are reviews right you can just go ahead and click on them most people are generous enough to upload the real-time videos there's nothing more interesting like uh, videos from a customer videos that are not like for advertising and everything and as you scroll down you can just check in how many stars are customers giving uh the given the shop uh you can see that people like this product and most of them are just giving them five stars this can help you to narrow down which supplier is the best and which one is not the best this is it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i just want to say if you've watched until now i want to believe that you know how to download 1688 you know how to search for products on 1688 using um you know chinese keywords you know how to initiate conversation with the supplier you know how to find suppliers and factories numbers and try to add them on wechat or whatsapp or try to sms them you know how to you know where to find the reviews and try to narrow down the best shops and um i think that is it for today's video guys uh thank you so much for tuning in uh make sure that you subscribe to the channel like this video and share if you can thank you